If a tree falls in the forest and there's no one around to hear it, do the squirrels have home insurance? These are the type of questions that keep me awake at night. Hello, my name is Omar Jess, and I've tasked myself to create a visual novel by myself. Today, this is devlog number three, in which we're going to be polishing the prototype. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So in the last devlog, we chose a game engine and created a very simple scene with background, characters, a speech bubble and text. The next step is to basically take this initial concept and polish it and work upon it to something that would resemble the final product. So I wrote out a list of things that would basically be quality of life things. Things like custom menus, custom fonts, adding music and essentially adding the gameplay elements to this, which would be the ramen selection, the transitions in between these and the results of the branching paths. So let me go through each section and explain what I did in Visual Novel Maker to get the end results. Let's start with a custom main menu. Now how the menus work in Visual Novel Maker is basically two images or an image map. An image with each part of the menu highlighted and one that's not. This image was taken from the initial concepts that I had for the menu. I just worked upon it so it was a little bit more workable. This was then a PNG. The reason for this is because I want a video part to be on the other side of the screen. Rather than just a still image just as the menu, I want it to be more dynamic. You'll see that a bit later on. So using the initial menu that's set up in Visual Novel Maker as a guide, I was able to figure out how the menus work in this, basically inputting the normal version of the image map and the hover versions of this. I then add what's called a hotspot to each part of the menu, and then Visual Novel Maker switches between each part of the menu choice between the two images that I've inputted. I can also change things like the sounds, so selection things when you hover over each bit, as well as the sound on the click. So onto the video part of the menu that I mentioned, I went into Google Images and sourced a few images of Ramen that I could use. I then brought this into Premiere and basically made a picture slideshow. However, the way that layering works in Visual Novel Maker, I couldn't just slap the menu on top of this. So I basically had to make a mask using the PNG that I created earlier as a guide to basically eat away out of this picture slideshow. This was then brought into Visual Novel Maker as a video and I used a blender mode to essentially add the menu on top of the video. That seemed to be the best way to get this sorted. I know there's probably other ways that you can do this, but this seemed to work for me. And this is basically the finished result for the custom main menu. Remember, this is for the prototype. This isn't the final result. Now it's time to add a little more custom flair to this. Things like custom fonts and music. I was able to source custom fonts and music from websites like defont.com as well as Production Crate. These websites are great for finding resources for games and other projects. With the fonts, it was just making sure it was the right format and bringing it in, and then changing the message settings as it comes up. The music was also very simple to implement, just a case of adding the music node and the music plays. This works on both the menu and when the game starts. And in just a few simple clicks, I was able to basically add a bit more customization to this prototype. Very, very straightforward, which is great. So with some of the more cosmetic types of the prototype sorted, it's time to start figuring out how to do the gameplay aspects of this that I had in mind, which can be broken down in two simple parts. The ramen selection menu, followed by the outcome of what you select. The ramen selection menu is basically the same as the main menu that I created earlier, so this was easy enough to implement following off of the concept that I created earlier as well. The image map with the various hover options and the various sound effects for selecting. I also wanted to create a nice transition for when you go from the normal wide angle to the ramen selection itself, mainly because the menu takes up the majority of the screen. I was able to find a pan and zoom screen option. This made sure that both the background and the character wouldn't drift away during the transition itself. This is also the reason why it's good to do the prototyping phase. As it was panning and zooming in through the screen, it started revealing the outside barriers and areas of the background. Something to keep in mind when it comes to the actual final piece to create basically a margin area around so these transitions can happen more smoothly. And it ended up with something like this. The ramen selection menu appearing and the camera focusing in so the characters are the left hand side. Just so it gives the player some context of who they're actually serving the ramen to. This will definitely be coming handy when there's multiple characters in a scene at once. So here I have four options. Chicken, beef, pork and spicy. These aren't obviously going to be the final ones but you get the rough idea. So to link these together, I have to basically create each scene individually with a label at the top of them. These labels I then attach to the hotspots on the image map that I mentioned previously. 
So example, if you select chicken, it goes straight to chicken. If you select beef, it skips the chicken one in the flowchart system and goes straight to beef and so on and so forth. I can then have the character say exactly what I want within that section that they've chosen. And then after it's all sorted, it goes back to the main menu just as a failsafe. So to make sure the game can play properly, I made essentially a little gameplay loop. So after the selection has been sorted, it goes straight back to the main menu. And that's kind of where I'm at with the prototype at the moment. I think all around it's been a success. I've got all the menus sorted, I've basically got the gameplay sorted, and I can work with all the assets that I've got done. So the next part is basically figuring out the design of this whole game. So I'm going to be creating a game design document. I'm basically going to be designing the what would closely resemble the final menu, the final splash screens, the final everything, maybe work on a few characters a bit more and basically create something that will resemble the final game. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and all that good stuff and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!